Hey everybody, I'm Jim the Hippie Redneck Geek out here again. Uh, we're going to build a bar for my deck. And so what I need to do is I have this area here on my deck right here. Right here. It comes over here to the door here. So I've got 7 foot from here to here. I've got 8 foot from there to there. So I can take build a fairly decent bar, except for I plan on, in the future, extending the deck all the way out here to that tree right there. And then that right there will get added into it here. So I want to be able to get past the bar. So I'm going to come out from the house here, four foot out here to about there, and that's the bar, and then come this way, six foot. So there's, the bar is going to actually have a bar on that side of it here, which right now will not be usable, but for now it will be usable the six foot here. Uh, this allows me to come in from this side here and get into it. Uh, and to maybe some point in time, maybe take and turn it around, I think make some other changes to it later on, I don't know. But right now that's what the, the, the plan is. And uh, so I've got my electrical outlet right here. Uh, so I can plug in a refrigerator and uh, ice maker and a couple of other things here. But I'm also going to paint, have another outlet out there off of that post somewhere probably as well. Or maybe off of that post. Uh, who knows. Uh, but uh, So we're going to build the bar here. I don't have any design yet. So the bar top is what's going to be six foot, four foot by six foot, which means the base inside of it. And it's going to have a one foot overhang on the, on, on the top. Uh, so that's the base of it inside. The outside part of the base will be five foot by three foot. Then I got to come in 20 inches. Uh, I think, yeah, 20 inches is what I got to have for the depth. 23 inches, something like that for the depth of it inside. So we're going to be making this year fairly tight here. I may have to rethink this year. But we're going to take a look at, uh, figure this out here. I'm going to draw this out here and my ideas and, and then go from there. Okay, as I thought about that, and that's not going to work. So what instead we're going to do, we're going to come over here to this area here, over by the hot tub. We're just going to make a straight eight foot bar. That'll be easy. Uh, so there'll be a two foot inside of it and one foot, uh, 18 inch top of, for the bar. So it'll be three foot deep, give or take, and eight foot long. So it'll, it's going to go right here. And it'll be movable so it can go this way if we take and decide to take and change the direction of it. So we can put it in this area right here. So that's the idea now. Okay, so the first thing i got to do is build the frame for the back wall of the bar. So if it's going to be eight foot long, I need a top and a bottom piece that are that are eight foot long, and then I will build. Then I'll get uh, uh, five uh, posts in between. Because this doesn't need to be structurally as sound as a house, so I can do two foot on centers. And because the bar height is forty two inches, standard bar height is forty two inches high. The bar thickness will be one and a half inches so we take that there from 42 we get uh, uh, 40 and a half inches and then the thickness of the two by four at the bottom and the two by four at the top that's three inches so we're going to be 37 and a half inches for the uh, uprights in between these here too so first going to cut the two eight footers one of them already is eight foot long exactly it's just right from 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 Lowe's, it's eight foot exactly. So we gotta cut the X one here at eight foot, and then I gotta cut five at forty uh, at thirty-seven and a half inches. So and we're gonna do that. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to cut now 37 and a half inch. I got to cut five, five of these 37 and a half inches. So this goes pretty quick, like here, cutting five of these boards 37 and a half inches long here to go between the uh, um, top uh, two by 
before and the bottom two before, which will be the um, the wall that goes underneath the, the edge of the bar and the back of the counter for the other side of it. Okay, now I got my pieces cut. Now I've got to put it together. So I'll mark this here on two foot centers here for the um, for the what, studs, whatever you want to call it, uh, for this year. And so uh, I did a pretty good job of cutting them square, and apparently I got uh, some boards that weren't twisted because it stood up there, stands up there perfectly, and everything stands there. So it stands up there all on its own without any having to hold on to it. So, so surprisingly, that. Uh, but it, it did that. And uh, then I turned it over and take with the other uh, two before. There was a little bit of a twist on the one board there, so I had to set it off a little bit there and take, pull it together. Um, there we go. So that that is about where the bar is going to go. When I put the, side, the, ed, the siding up on it and everything, uh, now I'll use that there to square it up, but that's about where it's going to go. So now I got to build the rest of the frame around this here. So I've got to build. This is going to be so it can be lifted, also because it can be lifted up and carry the refrigerators, refrigerator and ice maker with it. So it's going to have uh, casters that are going to be removable, so it can be moved. As needed so next is going to be build the end pieces plus uh, I got to do another eight foot part across for the inside bar top uh, I have to get the measurements for the refrigerators and the uh, uh, and the ice maker but I think they're they're all right at 30 inches and since I'm going to have down at the uh, at the bottom here, I'm going to pink, put a piece of 5 8 inch plywood so that everything sets on the fly, plywood so that everything gets moved around with it. Uh, so I've got to measure that 30, 3 eighths, that 30 inches before I can put the, where the bar top is going to go. And with the bar top, um, I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to put a fr front. Yeah, I'm going to take and do something about that front anyway. Uh, probably. Yeah, I'll figure something out. I don't know exactly what, but I'm going to figure something out for that front so that uh, everything fits in there. So next is to measure out, measure the height of the two refrigerators and the ice maker so I know exactly where to build the bar at. So I'll be right back. So I measured the refrigerators. The refrigerator is going to go once 32 inches tall. The other one's 31, 33 and a quarter inches, 33 and a half, something like that. There. And so I go and here's the problem with designing and building on the fly. I go and take build in pieces for this year instead of building the far out part piece here. And I confuse myself what I'm doing because. I have something in my mind, and then my brain goes off somewhere else, and uh, then I start thinking about stuff, and then I change my mind, and halfway into changing my mind, I change my mind again, and then I go and do something different, because I've changed my mind again, and I end up with something that ain't working, so I, I did this year, I got these two, these pieces cut and everything, and I build these pieces for the end. And because my brain went through 14 iterations between the time I started cutting them and doing it, that they came out incompletely wrong. And I put them in, put them together wrong. So I have to take them back out, as we'll see here in just a second here. So after putting the ends on it, I realized I built them incorrectly and now have to take the ends off and redo because I built them incorrectly and put them on incorrectly. So be back in just a minute. Here, will I take those apart? And then we'll go back here and rebuild them again correctly. 
Okay, so when I rebuilt the when I built this here, I built these in correct. This was supposed to be three inches shorter. This part here, so I fit in between. This part here is supposed to go on the bottom here, not in between. So I've got to take them apart, recut these here, and redo it. And no, I didn't cut those parts. I didn't. Again, my brain changed and went somewhere else, and I put it just the top and bottom. And this was still wrong, so um, we end up going back and doing this all over again uh, after I go through this here uh, with this iteration here. Um, one of these days, my brain will shut up, and I will be able to actually get something done on this here and get it done right. But that's the problem with the designing and building, uh, designing on the fly while building. Okay, complete redesign again, once again. I was thinking going about this the hard way. So I got the tall bar, back, uh, the tall part for the bar. And it's over, over there, somewhere, over there, so you can't see it here. Let's see if we can get it changed. No, you can't see it, it's in the shade. Well, the tall part's back there. So I'm just going to do the short, short part, which is going to go in the front of the bar. Which is going to be able to look exactly like that, except for shorter. And then it's just tie the two pieces together. I don't know why I was going about so hard trying to figure this hair out here. This just baffled my mind. So we're going to take and do this again. So I got to just build for those 37 inches. I can have four of them. I took the took those ends apart that I built. So I got just make. I got to do one cut one more of them. So and then take two eight footers and. Uh, Cut those two, uh, those two to eight foot, and then cut one more 37 inch. Put it together just like I did the other one, and then just keep spaced out as I need to. So here we go. And even that was incorrect because I didn't even need the top two by four on this year because it was not used. I ended up taking that off later on because it is in the way if I take leave it there. So I actually ended up doing extra work here that I didn't need to do. So, uh, again, designing on the fly gives you problems. But I end up with something here. Anyway, I, you know, uh, end up uh, making it work. And uh, so we got here the piece here. And uh, the wife's helped me to carry it around over there. Uh, so we got the piece here. And now I'm cutting the parts that are going to take tie the pieces that are going to tie them together we have to go find up we're like looking up uh, all my spare parts and everything the wife can get me up a couple of boards here that uh, uh, that were stained from leftover from the uh, deck rails and they're inside here so it doesn't matter what they look like so we get uh, these are 24 inch cut at 24 inch length so that's how deep the the counter is going to be and after we move over here, we get together, I'll go and put those pieces together and get it all tied together here. So I uh, put these 20, uh, 24 inch pieces across there, get it spaced out there, and voila, I have the, 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 count, uh, the counter side uh, the, that's going to have the house, the, um, uh, this is going to have the refrigerators, the ice maker, and other any other things I've decided to put in here. Uh, but there's the frame there. After all the troubles I went through, that top bar right there that I'm leaning on is going to come out. Uh, so now we're cutting the um, paneling that's going to go on the front of it. This is uh, um, T111. <laughs> And I cut it to full 42 inches, uh, which is like, whoops, there's an inch and a half difference there. That's got to come off. The, so it's 40 and a half inches because the 42 inches includes the inch and a half of the bar top. So, um, so I'm using this. Uh, this is a uh, um, track saw here that I'm using here to cut straight lines. And there we go. We're putting the put the panel on, on here and I was going to take start putting some nails in here to take, try to get it and then lean it back over so I can put it up and uh, lean it over and say well that didn't work so after we'll put it in 
And uh, so to get this nailed in here, and we have the front of the bar completed here. And then uh, I stand it right back up again here. And as soon as I get uh, this here, I'm still trying to get one uh, slight adjustment here. You just stand it up in place, and we now have the front of the bar completed. And so now, uh, we're putting, getting, cutting the um, bar top here. This is a uh, three-quarter inch plywood here. This is sanded ply. Uh, it's, to, it's just pine, so it's you know not the expensive stuff. It's nothing expensive here. Uh, so using the, the track saw here, we're cutting the pine at eight foot, uh, eight foot long, eighteen inches wide here. I was my brain was saying sixteen inches and. Uh, and I measured it 18 inches, which I'm glad I went to 18 inches instead of 16 inches anyway. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, there's a uh, one for each there, and then can cut another one here. So I'm, I'm doing working between the, these two two of my uh, saw uh, tables here um, for the um, uh, that are on the deck here. Uh, these are two deck tables, glass top tables here, and I'm doing construction work on top of. Use it for workbenches. Uh, so far, I haven't broken one, so that's pretty good there. Uh, and then we get the uh, two pieces here, and then I go over and screw it together. Uh, screw the two two together. I take figure out which sides I want it to go. That's going to be for the upside, and screw it all together. Okay, that's it for tonight. We'll finish this up tomorrow. I got to get some more parts. We'll get on it tomorrow. Okay, so now we're going to put in brackets on the bar top so we can be, when we flip it over and take and attach it, we'll attach it with the brackets here. These are brackets are rated for 600 pounds a piece. I got five brackets, 3,000 pounds. It'll never see that, but I over engineer everything. So get these brackets here. Take mark out where they're going to be laid out here. Every two foot here on center here. Uh, mark out where the holes are going to go for the bracket to tie in here. There are some. Uh, these come with some. Well, they don't come with screws. You got to buy the screws. They're, uh, they're like fourteen dollars for the brackets and five dollars for the screws. It's like you would think they would just buy the whole things as one thing, but uh, that's what, not the way they sell it. Uh, so I have to go and drill. In here, uh, initially, do do a quarter inch, uh, a half inch deep drill into this here, and then screw these brackets into place here. There's three screws that goes down in here um, on, on each of this here. So I've got it all marked out here and get it all screwed down there, and then uh, get the wife to come over and help me flip it over into place. And while well, I put in uh, a couple of screws here to get it held up held in place and uh and uh, um well it takes a little bit here to get her well there's she, there she is so she's come over to help me take flip it over she's going to sit there and hold it in place make sure that it doesn't move while i can get some screws in here and uh so i only get one screw in these in this here at the bottom here but uh, I, I go and to the back there and screw up also from the two by four up into the bottom of these here as well here so that's all Done. That's when I realized I had to take off that two by four off that other piece there, and that I couldn't had some some two by fours. The, the two by fours that I cut, the twenty and a half inch ones, they're going on the tops of the connection pieces. Okay, so now we're going to cut the flooring for the uh, the bar, so I have a place to put the fridge and the. Uh, um, ice maker or anything else that goes that's going to end up down underneath there so it's 23 and a half inches deep and it's not quite four foot between it because i've got the way i've taken built it back there i'll show you when i bring it around there i've got a i'm going to cut the 23 and a half inches and then i'll take and cut to width that i needs to go in there and then we're going to screw it down and like an idiot i uh stand between myself and the camera or between the camera what i'm doing or i set up the camera so i couldn't see what i'm doing but basically cutting this five eighths inch plywood here to use for the decking under the cabinet okay 
these pieces are a little bit too wide because of the way everything built this year. I need to be able to cut this here to the length that needs to be. Then I got to notch out for where the two by four is right there. I got to notch that out as well. So I'm going to mark this here first where it's going to go into place. So it's the width that it needs to be. So I'm just marking this right here. Uh, and when I get it in place, then I'll take and mark out the notch and we'll cut this. So I mark it and unfortunately I didn't get it perfect. I don't know if that's unfortunate or fortunate. I got a perfect, perfect width, whatever. Uh, then I have to mark for where the um, um, two by four is there and cut, notch that out. And uh, so this is a lot of fun here with just a skill saw, but get in there, perfect fit. And I uh, just need a little love tap to get it in there. And then I screw it down here to the two by four. And uh, then we take, move on to the next one here. Uh, the next one gives me a little bit more problems here. Um, I first mark it, and I'm not quite, it's just a hair too wide. Uh, and then I'm, but I do mark, go ahead, go ahead and mark the two by four. Unfortunately, there was a mark that I'd somehow left on the board here for, and I marked, I cut the, not, I notched it out between the wrong marks. It happened to be an exact mark. It was an inch and a half apart. I'm like, well, what the heck? And take a look down at Oh, there's the other mark that I did. And then whenever I take, cut it out, I didn't have it quite wide enough. Uh, didn't mark it quite wide enough here. And then finally get it right in place. So now I got a little gap there, but it's no big deal. It's just a piece of 5 8 of plywood. Well, I forgot to turn on the camera to, to put on this here. But so here we got right there, uh, far right there. That's a nice maker. Then a refrigerator, I got another refrigerator, I got room for something else here, something here. And we've stained, we put on this here countertop, we've stained it here. This is a, what's called honey. It's pretty dark for honey, but uh, that's the stain we got on it here. I still got to put uh, trim on this here, and we got to polyurethane it here to protect it. But that's where we're at right now. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay. We're going to say that the bar is finished. I've got trim up on it. I don't have any front, anything on the front yet because I'm not sure exactly what all I'm going to put in here. But right now I've got two refrigerators and an ice maker. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to set this here up here. I've also got casters, removable casters that are going to go on it so it can be moved. Uh, so those aren't on it yet. But we have put trim up here on the top here. Uh, that's uh, just uh, some trim, some white white pine or something. I don't remember what it is. Uh, fur, uh, not furring strips. They're actually trim boards uh, around, surrounding this here honey colored, uh, honey stained countertop here. So, at the end panels here. All this here has to be stained at some point here. This here will all be stained at some point uh, down here as well as for the uh, paneling out here. That's going to be done in uh, redwood stain. Uh, pretty much we're going to use the same stain as we're using for the deck to do this year. But until I get that front done, I'm not going to get, do the stain on it. And actually not until I get this, do the deck. When I do, do the deck, I'll stain this year as well. Uh, but there you go, complete. We are saying that the deck bar is complete. So uh, we will, I'll have four deck stools. In fact, here's two of the deck stools right here. That's going to go up there. Uh, we just finished putting finished putting the second coat of polyurethane on the top. We're probably going to come back and do a third coat of polyurethane uh, in a couple of days. Here, we want to take and let the first two coats uh, settle on there. But uh, there we go. This is the end of building the deck bar. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please click subscribe and click like, and uh, we'll see you for the next video.